then what happened when I get to Dallas, I stood there, couldn't get a job. I'm a college instructor. Hey, all the teachers were hired. So then I'm scrambling, looking, and trying to find out what can I do. I got so distraught because I sent my daughter and my father up here. So I said, I can't stay here anymore. I can't take it. So I came here two weeks ago Sunday. When I arrived here, lo and behold, I didn't realize from me taking care of everybody else, my body was worn and torn. Yes. I became ill from inhaling all of that. I, my lungs were infected. Then after I went over the lungs infection, there I had a necrotic tooth where my wisdom tooth had dead blood. But God sent me a guardian angel, that's Sherry. Right, I stayed at her house, didn't know her. Amen. She took care of me, she had to feed me. My family got angry and said, well, why aren't you talking to anybody? How can you talk when you're in pain? Amen. You're taking penicillin and Vicodin. So finally, last Tuesday, I finally went back. I couldn't open my mouth because my mouth was hurting from the infection going down my throat, up in my head. They pulled the wisdom too. Didn't realize the people were stitching my jaw to the bottom of my mouth. It was a suffering experience. And I know they have the hurricane kit. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm still back in New Orleans. <laughs> earthquake. The earthquake kit. But I thank God for Red Cross. All right. Because when I was in, in Texas, I called the Red Cross.